Greetings and welcome to Spiritual Magic Journey. This is your prediction for July 2022. So this is your July predictions. Pick a card. I've got three stacks here. And there is, I think, five in each stack. Um, so just let your intuition guide you and choose a stack. And we're going to see what messages come through for you for the month of July. So guys, I hope you're having just a beautiful, wonderful, and blessed, blessed month. Happy 4th of July to those that are celebrating it. So we're just going to get started. We're going to start with our blue uh, stack here, or our blue heart. And then we'll move on to the rest of them. So... I'm just going to ring the bell here. We're going to get started. I'm just going to slide these back. And we'll see what's going on if you chose stack number one with the beautiful blue heart. What messages are coming through for you this month in July? Guys, if you would love to get your own personal reading, private reading with me, you can. I'm now offering... Uh, private readings through zoom so go check that out on my website so let's see your first card is material and spiritual prosperity i love that the ten of air okay and we've got celestial assistance that's a beautiful card and then we've got Saint Germain for you there. And we've got a beautiful postcard that we're going to read at the end. So what is going on here? Our first card is material and spiritual prosperity. So I feel like that you have been um, worried about your finances here in the in the past couple of months. So I, I you have some type of fear of um of your money your monetary uh for some of you and i feel like you're, you're going spirit is saying you're going to be okay so you just really need to trust this is just a period that um you know you've been through some hardships and some financial issues some of you have some of you are just worried about that but there is prosperity here for you to have um you're worked your way and i feel like some of you have just acquired um you worked so hard to acquire what you have and some of you are just afraid of losing that and spirit is saying don't worry you're going to be okay is this a, a material and spiritual prosperity so there's some spiritual aspects that are happening now in your life i mean everything that happens is for a reason so look at that and i feel like you're going to definitely be blessed this month material and spiritual on the spiritual aspect of it meaning spirit is there with you meaning you are going to have um heightened intuition you're going to know that you're safe and everything is okay um in your home with your family with your life this month in july so don't worry too much there everything's going to turn out okay and i know you had some hardships in the past and we've got this ten of air here this is the end of a difficult situation. Embrace the change and expect things to get better. Now recovering. This could be recovering from addiction too it says. But yes. So you had the hardships. You've been through the trials and the tribulations. And you've had things just to. Um, you know. Not be okay. To your standards. And to your likings. And you've been worried. And and you you've had to sacrifice a lot to get where you are and you've acquired this this um beautiful place because you see this guy's looking over his land and he's and he's just blessed so don't forget to be grateful so this period of 
of difficulty is ending for you but spirit is saying do not forget to be grateful for that and i feel there's some uh material abundance and and that's coming in for you in july so i don't know if you're expecting it or it's just going to be out of the blue for you your third card is celestial assistance angelic message guides and enlightenment again with that spiritual um, abundance. I feel like your intuition is going to be heightened and you're going to get these messages and you're going to know in this month of July that everything is going to be okay. It's like you've got the celestial assistance. You've got the angelics. You know, you've got your guide. Messages are going to be coming in. Guidance. I mean, you're going to be thinking about uh, asking a question and then you're going to see it somewhere. You're going to see the answer on a billboard. You're going to see the answer on scrolling through your, your, through your uh, Facebook. And there it is, giving you that reassurance that everything is going to be okay. Seeing those numbers, seeing those signs and synchronicities. Pay attention to your surroundings and what is around you the answers are everywhere everything that you're speaking your team is trying to guide you and show the show you that here is the answer pay attention to that to the signs and synchronicities i love it when everything just lines up and i feel like you're gonna be really having a really great uh, month for fourth of july and your fourth card is saint germain karma releasing move beyond the drama create your own path make room for good energy do not get caught up in all this drama because it's going to be there it's like you're going having this um difficult time moving out of the way and you don't want to bring that back in you've got this karma releasing you know we're creating karma every day by everything that we do what we speak how we react to others do not create that move beyond that drama create your own path it's okay to be in the middle ground it's okay that's where i am i'm in the middle i'm not on one side and i'm not on the other side i'm in the middle so do saint germain is just saying to release that release the need to be in the drama and stay out of the, the 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 drama that is going on around us so you're releasing a lot of karma so be careful what you do and what you say and how you react to others that is creating karma in itself we're creating karma on a daily basis so definitely be aware of your surroundings so let's read our postcard from spirit sister issue even though life seems to be moving full steam ahead it's time it's a time to rest allow ideals to flow through you and take root in your heart before they reach your mind honor this process by becoming empty to allow for inspiration and the magic of dreaming you might feel lazy or unproductive, but we know better. Just as sleep is a way to recharge for renewal, so are you in a time for dreaming. In this powerful process of co-creation, your soul merges with spirit in a profound way so you can receive your music directly from source and play your part in the symphony of life. You are being invited to bear witness to the great creation and tune into what others can't hear. We have so many dreams to share with you in the sacred and the invisible. Don't worry, we will wake you when it's time to return with a new dream. No need to set an alarm clock. Loving you always. Absolutely beautiful message there. Um, from spirit so we're going to move on to our second stack which is our beautiful red heart here and we're going to see what messages are coming through for you guys so if you chose stack number two i just want to wish you guys a happy fourth of july 
And if you'd like to get your own personal reading, private reading that I'm now doing through Zoom, you can. Psychic reading. Uh, so you just go to my website and check that out. We've got the Heart Chakra. It's your first card. I love that card. The Magician with Archangel Raziel. Trust. Absolutely. And holy amethyst. And then we got a beautiful postcard from Spirit that we are going to read at the end. So we've got this heart chakra card here. And it may be your heart is opening or needing or feeling like um, you need to open your heart more. Your heart is asking you to begin to trust again and allow love to come in and flow in so you can give and receive love so your heart is asking you to trust and have faith that you know what's it what's in the past that we must let that go because that is not the now we're living in the now you're not your past you're not whatever happened to you in your past that may have caused you to shut your heart down you're not that same person you're not the victim anymore. You are so much more than that. You've come so far. Do you even realize that, Spirit is saying? Do you even realize that? Do you see yourself as this beautiful, majestic, uh, spiritual, divine being, um, empowered? Um, look how far you've come. So you're not there. We don't live in the past. We're living here in the now, and this is time to uh, really take a step back, open that heart so that love can be coming in. Because I feel like there's someone that wants to come into your life, or there's some maybe somebody there already that you're just not really sure about, you know, maybe a little hesitant, maybe a little afraid to trust this person, have faith that the same thing may happen, but you never know until you go try it so your heart is wanting to open more and this could be with love uh, a love interest person that's coming in or just to love yourself more open that heart let down the walls this is how your intuition will get stronger and you'll be able to hear spirit more than also so just working on that heart chakra being compassion um, living your best life, being in joy, receiving and giving love, having the manifestations start to flow in your life. You have to have that heart chakra open. You have to have that compassion. So if things are just not working and flowing in your life and you're not giving, uh, you're not receiving the love and uh, you're not manifesting what you desire, open your heart chakra, pray and ask uh, your team, God, uh, Yeshua, Jesus, whoever it is that you speak with, to really just open it up for you, help you, help you. If you don't really know how, ask uh, the angelics to help you. Ask God. Uh, pray about it. Um, so recite mantras of I am love, I am divine every day. Whatever you need to do to really um, open that up more. So your second card is the Magician, Archangel Raziel. You are ready. You have the resources or the ability to manifest them. Life is magical. So you are in your power this month. You are the Magician this month. It's like spirit. The universe is giving you everything you need to manifest what you want this month. What is it that you want to change? release let go about yourself or your surroundings or manifest or create think about that now is the time to go ahead and start that whatever it is it's like you've got the yes this is a yes card archangel uh, raziel uh, with the magician um the gatekeeper of all wisdom knowledge past present and future it's saying yes you can tap into that energy now this is the type of your energy you're in this month so really tap into that 
and really um, step into uh, your heart center again and asking yourself what is it that you truly desire what is it that you want to create uh, what is it that you want to change maybe it could be as simple as a routine exercise or uh, cutting back on food or just creating something um, art music writing a book whatever it is you you're in that type of energy this month so go with it your third card is trust overcoming doubts insecurities and patience again with your heart it always comes back to the heart and having compassion and opening up and let them letting the wild walls um, come down and letting those um, insecurities and and things just um, releasing those and beginning to and allowing yourself to really trust again and you may have went through some things in the past but again you're not your past so really and it takes time this is something that's not going to happen overnight nobody's rushing you but really over, start to um, realize that you want to receive love again and you want to give love again and you want to have compassion and you want to be able to trust so allow yourself the time needed and then and to do the the work of of letting yourself trust and, and overcoming insecurities and doubts so that's happening also with you this month then your fourth card is the holy amethyst divine alchemy move beyond current challenges focus on again focusing on what you desire moving beyond your challenges if i know you've had challenges we all have had those obstacles and challenges that we go through but this is a time again you're in that magician state and you're creating you have that divine alchemy of just creating uh, what you want and desire so move beyond those current challenges and you are moving beyond those current challenges and you are seeing how powerful and wonderful and beautiful and courageous of a person you really are a divine being that you really are and holy amethyst is just saying focus on what you desire because you can really truly manifest that and create that start creating that this month in july so let's see what our beautiful postcard from spirit has to say it says dear Shu, we have something exciting to share with you you are manifesting master does it not relate oh my gosh you line up and you don't even know it there will always be enough of everything that you need in your life money opportunities love kindness so whatever you're asking God it's about have faith and be open to many ways in which you will experience prosperity spirit is a source of your supply the universe is always reflecting back to you what you believe so whenever you fall into insecurity you will be shown an illusion as if your fear was real so when we get for let me stop for a minute so when you start thinking about that the universe just is a mirror reflecting back so if you're down and you're thinking those negative things you're just going to get that reflected back to you so keep your 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 mind clear of that but but the truth is that the universe is abundant you are and always have been enough and abundance is your natural state remember let me say that again you are and always have been enough and the abundance is your natural state if you can imagine something constantly as truth you can and will create it 
You are so on the right path now. Keep believing. Then, then the scene happens. Loving you more and more every day. Absolutely love that message. Totally aligned. Absolutely beautiful message. Let's move on to our third set, which is our beautiful green heart. So we're going to see what messages come through, guys. Just want to wish you a happy 4th of July. If you'd like to get your own personal reading, private reading, now that I'm doing them on Zoom, you can, your own psychic reading. So check my website out for that. Your first card is heartache and loss no what is going on here the night of earth hmm releasing yes you're going to need to be releasing rada soul flame and then we have a postcard from spirit that we're going to read at the end. So what is going on with this heartache and loss? Have you been through a recent breakup? Someone has <sighs> gave you some heartache and loss. And this could be someone um, passing, transitioning over out of your life that has given you, that has caused a loss and has, um, that you may be feeling at this time and it could be a relationship going through a divorce breaking up with your partner that you may feel this heartache and loss around this time so i just want to say that but i feel like things are definitely going to get better and i feel like there's someone coming into your life if you have, if this has happened to you in the past, I feel like there's a new person that's coming. And this is this night of earth here that we have. And this is loyal, dedicated, honorable, and kind. Time to buckle down and get things done. Have your commitments a guardian angel. So know that your angels, your guardian angel is there with you. Anytime we go through a heartache and loss, know that your team is there just surrounding you, holding your hand. Um, caressing your hair and you may even feel them so don't ever think that you're alone in this world because you're not you're not you have so many <laughs> spirit guides is unbelievable for everything you have them for everything joy guides medical guides that you can call in um, so always know that whatever you're going through you have um your team there working with you and i said this was what the night of earth yeah time to get buckled down and, and get things done um so i feel like there's a person coming in that's going to be right um smitten with you especially if you just had a recent breakup otherwise it's time to get things done with this night of earth time to get practical here um time to get um creating it. I feel like you've just started something or you're in on the movement. This reminds me of, of movement, of moving, maybe moving jobs, moving home, um, something. It's time to get, um, stop procrastination is what they're telling me and get with it. Get with it. You may be going through that procrastination of wanting to start something or finish something. I feel like you've already kind of started it. Um, for some of you and it's time to really get the moving on that get the cracking on it um spirit is saying don't hesitate don't wait anymore for some of you there's someone that's going to come in that's really honorable and loyal and dedicated and kind that you can really trust it's going to help you open that heart um back up and you'll be able to um actually trust again this person is going to come along and help you. And this could be a good friend. This could be a romantic uh, person that's going to come along. Or just a friend that's really going to help you um, get over those insecurities that you may have about going forth and entering into a new relationship. Okay, so 
again with our third card we've got releasing purification spiritual cleansing and letting go so maybe it's time to do one of those spiritual purification and just to release um, a spiritual cleansing especially if you've had any type of heartbreak or anything like that or if you're just going through anything right now and you feel like your energy is just icky, you know, something is just not kosher, let's just say with that. So release, getting the water, go to the ocean, salt water, great for cleansing. Ask for spiritual purification. Ask for spiritual cleansing from your team, your angelics. Um, do some sage, holy wood, light a candle recite a prayer or mantra or a chant of just releasing and letting go letting go of the past you're not tied to your past i feel like some of you feel like you are and you keep reliving it spirit is saying but you need to release that and let that go you're not that person anymore you're not the victim um you're you're, you're not that um, same person look at who you are now so release that I feel like you're it's so much more I feel like there's so much uh, that wants to come in from spirit and just shower you with love um, compassion and joy and happiness and finding your bliss but it's like you cannot let something go so spirit is saying releasing that do whatever it takes to create a ritual uh, recite a mantra every day ask your team pray about it if you pray whatever but release that and do that spiritual cleansing also because it could be your energy too something may be attached to your energy may you've been around some drama or some people that are just not high that are just uh in drama all the time let's just say that they're in the drama all the time always negative always down always talking so release that that could be it for you um let that go cleanse yourself your fourth card is rada soul flamed rediscover i lost part of yourself experience relationship harmony in healing so this could be a great time for healing too especially if you've had any kind of heartbreak and lost again going back to that first card rediscovering um a part of yourself that soul flame um and i feel like some of you could be finding that soul flame and it's an energy that's in someone else again this person's going to come along and help you again uh open up your heart help you uh trust again and help you um remove those walls that you have built up around your heart this person is going to be loyal and dedicated and this could be a romantic or it could be a friend that's coming in and i feel like for you guys that are in a relationship there's going to be you're going to be experiencing some harmony there especially if you're already with your soul flame so let's read our beautiful postcard from spirit it says dear Shu, we need you to know that you can change things miraculously for you and everyone and make things right it's never too late forgiveness absolutely is about releasing yourself from the burden of an old story i'm gonna read that again especially if you had any heartbreak and loss in the past and you're holding it and you need to release it again this is lining up <laughs> perfectly it's never too late forgiveness is about releasing yourself from a burden of an old story on which you were a victim of someone else's actions or your own you don't need to carry this around you can set yourself free even advocating for good because of this experience requires your forgiveness to be effective forgiveness is never about condoning the things that were done it's about letting yourself off the hook from carrying the burden resentment and hurt are like viruses that spread 
to others and that is the opposite of what you really desire right imagine what your life would be like without the burdens that you carry when you do not forgive absolutely forgiveness is the key you can do it. Everyone over here believes in you and adores you. Absolutely beautiful, wonderful message from Postcard from Spirit, guys. I hope this helps you in your journey through life. Blessings, my friends, and namaste.